Welcome back to Breastside here on 10 Tampa Bay. We've been talking about this cold front that has moved through the area and, and ushering in this cooler air. We're watching this because it's actually going to be the focus for some tropical development later this week into the weekend. So there's our front there moving through the southern part of the Florida Peninsula. And here's a tropical wave that's moving through the Caribbean just north of South America. This tropical wave is heading right towards the Yucatan Peninsula and will meet up with that frontal boundary as it stalls out through the second half of the week into the weekend. As those two entities meet up, we're likely going to see an area of low pressure develop. And with that area of low pressure, where there's at least a 60% chance that it becomes a tropical depression, maybe even a tropical storm at this point. So we've got the spin and we also have plenty, plenty of warm water down there in the Western Caribbean and Southern Gulf of Mexico. So we really have to watch this area closely. If it's not going to be this system, potentially another area of low pressure developing with a, a secondary tropical wave as we get into early next week. So this is the area of low pressure that the GFS model has been tracking. It's been fairly consistent with developing something where it tracks it has been inconsistent. So we don't know where it tracks or even if it develops, but the likelihood of something developing is relatively high. Again, there goes that first system that we're tracking. Here comes another tropical wave that GFS model is showing signs of developing as well. So we've got to watch this area here this time of the, the year in this part of the Caribbean. The likely for likelihood of development is pretty high, so something to watch. But right now, just a 60% chance that we could see a depression before the weekend's all said and done.